Hey guys, welcome back. Andrew here with Ambient Endeavors, and today we're checking out a brand new pedal from Eventide Audio. It's their Riptide. Uh, it's a stereo univibe pedal with a multi-mode drive section. It sounds fantastic, and I think that this pedal might be the one that has made me fall in love with univibes. It's admittedly a sound and an effect that I kind of gloss over, uh, probably because of the association I have with that effect. When I think Univibe, I usually think of like Hendrix or any other number of sort of blues guitar guys from uh, the 70s. And I just kind of didn't give it the time of day. But I'm really excited to have gotten to play this pedal and demo it for you because there's some really fantastic sounds in here, even if you're not a blues player or even if you're not sort of into that like 70s um, retro uh, sound that you can get from these pedal. There's a few reasons that I really love this pedal, why I've been impressed with it as I've played through it and uh, shot this demo. I'm gonna share those with you after we run down the control set here. So like I mentioned, it's a stereo univibe and overdrive pedal. Uh, you have on the right side here, the vibe control on and off, drive control on and off here. And you have little LED buttons that select one of two modes for each of those effects. We'll get into that later. The top row is the vibe control. So you have vibe here, which is the mix of wet and dry. You have the speed, which is the rate of the univibe sound. And then you have intensity, which is the depth of your univibe effect. The top right here is an order toggle. So you can decide whether you're gonna run your drive into your univibe sound or vice versa. And then the bottom row is for the overdrive circuit, really traditional, um, straightforward drive, tone, and level, and those are really intuitive. You've got some lights here on the side that indicate presets. This pedal uh, is capable of storing and recalling presets and also uh, takes MIDI in via TRS jack at the top. Um, nine volt power, you have a toggle on the back switch to tell the input whether it's mono or stereo and you also have either a guitar or line level input toggle on the back as well. All right, so what do I love about this pedal? Why has it impressed me uh, this week as I've dove into it for this video? One is that it is all digital. Um, even Tide are sort of legends in the digital world. They've come up with uh, dozens and dozens of fantastic digital algorithms that show up on the H9, H90, uh, some of their desktop plugins and such. And so I've been like pleasantly surprised and impressed with the nuance and character of both effects in here, being that they're both digital. Uh, specifically the drive sounds. I have played a few digital drive pedals in the past or found drive sounds and modelers that were all right, but on the whole, I'm usually pretty turned off by digital overdrive sounds. Um, there's plenty of discrete analog options out there that sound fantastic, so uh, that's kind of where I go, but this pedal uh, would make a compelling reason for me to use digital drive sounds. The lower gain sounds, fantastic. Uh, it's really nice, dynamic, touch sensitive in each of the modes, and you kind of forget that it's a digital overdrive sound as you're playing it. The other big selling point for me is honestly just the fact that they included drive circuit with this pedal. So for someone like me who probably wouldn't rush to put a Univibe pedal on my pedal board, uh, I'd use it fairly sparingly or situationally and it just probably wouldn't earn the spot uh, on the board. The fact that it has an overdrive circuit with it would, would be a way for me to kind of justify having it there. I'd use the overdrives um, very regularly, sort of stacking those with my other drives or, or using them um, specifically. And then you'd also have that Univibe sound uh, on tap if you needed it. So. I really love that they chose to do those two circuits together. I think that each of them separately sound really great, and then as you combine them, there's some really cool magic that happens too. The third and final thing um, that I think is a big selling point for this pedal is the fact that it's stereo, and I think that the dynamic and the, sp the spread of the stereo sound from this pedal is great. You'll hear it in full stereo in the sound samples, and there's just this really lush, um, nice, wide, stereo image from this pedal that will work really nicely with your other wet effects. Um, I put this right before my delays and reverbs and it just complemented them and sort of uh, worked with what 
those pedals were doing in stereo too really well to preserve that dimension and that width. Um, so a great uh, choice, not surprising from Eventide, not surprising uh, since it's a digital uh, effect as well. So those are a few of the reasons why uh, I've really been impressed with this pedal. Why I could really see it being something that uh, would go on a pedal board of mine. And through doing this video, I kind of was, you know, put into this position of deep diving into the effect and finding the sounds and tones that I liked and didn't like. And as I've found so many times with modulation pedals, leaning into the subtler and slower rate uh, settings on this pedal really yielded fantastic results. I loved the way that you can get really slow kind of um, sway and warble in the background. I love using this kind of how I'd use a, a chorus or a flanger for subtle um, just movement and nuance and dimension to my playing with really slow rate um, sort of mid mix settings. Uh, and the Univibe effect just gives this like interesting, more dynamic, kind of chewy, chewy kind of swirly, phasey uh, thing to it. Whereas uh, a chorus or a trem feel a little more like static. You kind of get in what you put out. Um, the Univibe effect has this really cool swirl and this really cool kind of pulsy, chewy phasiness to it that I love and that adds a lot to your playing. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna stop talking here. I'm gonna throw it onto the board and hear a, an extended uh, sound sample section. We're gonna go through both of the Univibe modes, both of the drive modes all independently, and then at the end, combine them uh, with some other effects to hear how that sounds. I'm using my Eastwood Stormbird. Uh, like you saw in the intro sketch there, we're running a Benson Germanium Boost at the front of the board and then running into the Riptide and out in stereo to a Strymon Volante and a Maris Mercury 7 and then on to the UA Dream 65 in stereo for the amp. Check it out!
Thank mm-hmm. you. 